I should have said you'll do fine. But that's okay. <laughs> you flatter me was probably like an insult. <laughs> like something that you shouldn't do to a Jedi. <laughs> I don't know. How do you feel about me being Revan? <laughs> The only one who will call me, call me by name because he doesn't use English. Thanks, buddy. I'll do my best to not disappoint. Hey, little buddy. He's literally only here to be a programming spike machine. Like, they don't really give you much with him at all, which is kind of a disappointment. Uh... Wait, is this the engine room? What? Battlefront 2 EA has concluded the game, calling it finished. Oh, oh, okay, so they're still supporting it with servers and stuff. Okay, okay. I was like, what? Interesting, So, but they are kind of giving up on it. Yeah, what do you want? Um... Tell me about when you worked for... Here, let's do it. What are, we, what are your thoughts now? This thing with John. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Give me some time and I'll be able to sort this out on my own. Is there something else you want? Dang, to okay. Um, so we're not going to talk to him about me being Revan because he doesn't care. He's like, or actually he cares because he thinks it's pretty awesome. Tell me when you worked for Davik. Working for Davik was like driving a spike through the side of your head. Sure, you got something new <laughs> in there, but in the end, you've lost something. Oh, <laughs> that's an interesting way to say it. Couldn't pay, strong arming his competitors, killing who he said. It was busy work, nothing decent. Uh, you were an assassin. Assassin, mercenary. Those are names people give guys like me who do the killing to make us seem better or worse in their eyes. I've killed many people. I can't say I'm proud of it, but I have. Criminals, competitors, businessmen, police, women, children. Jedi were a better challenge, but they hardly ever poked around in the Undercity until you came along. But I never wanted to challenge you. Never felt the need. Maybe I knew I couldn't win, just like all those years ago. Oh, dang. I haven't aged, apparently, either, because on a, like I think he would be real. I would be pretty old by now. Um... The Bastila side quest is finished. We talked to her mom, and that's all done. Um. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he says women and children, and like, I don't know, maybe he did kill them when he was with Davik, but I think that is more implying when he, like, firebombed worlds, and it's still really a difficult thing to have to, like, reconcile, but. Yeah. It's rough. He's a good. He's an interesting character, though. He's complicated. Yeah, we we talked after with Candorous. I asked her how she was feeling, and she said that she was feeling much better. That like now that she has things resolved, like it's taken a great weight off her chest. You know, a wise decision. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you probably would have beaten me again. Maybe you would have, but you're not who you were back then. I can tell. It's true. You've changed. And maybe I have to. I remember a time when I could do anything I wanted. Kill, maim, murder. It was all the same to me. But now, now that I am older, I can look back and regret. Interesting. I regret to tell you that I never regret anything. Oh no, yeah, Rain. I mean, you told me to finish it, so I made sure to finish it all out. The Mandalorian reminds you... Or, oh, the Mandalorians, like, remind you of the Kunari and the Krogan? Yeah. No, there's there, there are definitely, like, distinct similarities. Not a surprise, I guess, since they came from the same company, but... Over what? I look back and regret all the chances I had as a warrior. And then all the chances I've had since then. I 
I shouldn't be getting like this. Not when so many other things are happening, but it feels like huh. something has changed inside, and I don't know what it is. Feelings! Ah, this is unbecoming a warrior. Let's get on with everything before I start getting sentimental or something. <laughs> is there something else you want? To oh, interesting. That's really interesting, actually. Like, he's... I feel like a lot of Mandalorians, at least in some of the lore, they tend to die younger. They don't get very old because they fight a long, long time. But, like, when you're a good enough warrior, or when there are not, like, as many wars, or your people have been wiped out, like, with Candorous, like, I don't know, maybe it leaves him enough time to, like, think, you know? Like, sit back and think as he gets older about things, you know? About how things could have been different or whatever. Like maybe, or or he's just he's had experiences since you know the fall of the Mandalorians, like with like hanging out with me and doing other things, you know, where he's had a chance to like sit down and look back and like regret things potentially. Like maybe not the actions he took, maybe the actions he didn't take or something. You know, it's interesting. You probably like mission the most out of the companion. She's just a genuinely genuinely good person. Yeah, she's probably the most genuine out of everybody, honestly. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. I like Joey and Candorous and HK a lot. I just think they're funny guys. Statement. HK forty seven is ready to serve, Master. Hmm, so you belong to Revan originally? Statement. Yes, Master. You I created, created you! You and your apprentice began your war to conquer What? The I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. Interesting. Uh, you find it distressing? Statement. Of course, Master. You are the one who created me, meatbag or no. And while you may not be all you once were, I am grateful for my existence. He has so many more emotions than most droids. HK has been regarded by fans as one of the best kickers in Coder and for good reason. I mean, he's funny. And, like, that the reveal that he's a droid that you made when you were Revan is actually, like, really crazy. Like, I did not know that. Am, am I very much like the Revan you knew? Observation. You are different in many fundamental ways. <laughs> you have a concern for life that is unsettling. <laughs> this cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall improved? from the human I once knew. Oh, okay. What do you mean? So, uh, why the meatbag references? Answer. It was what? you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag. <laughs> he was unimpressed. But you found the record. <laughs> you changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme. <laughs> <laughs> so Malik was the original meatbag. I like that idea. Observation. <laughs> of course you do, Master. <laughs> you did then as well. <laughs> It's good to know that even as a Dark Lord, Revan had a sense of humor. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, my gosh, you're right. Telling Shep his people are being improved. Oh, my gosh, that's right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, scary. Um, do you know anything about the Starforge? Answer. No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Starforge's secrets. What can you tell me of Malik? Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. <laughs> ah, thank you, HK. As you desire, Master. Signing off. <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. This is this is crazy. Hey there. What can I do for you? I just wanted to talk about me being Revan. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then 
it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? So it doesn't bother you at all? I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy But I destroyed Earth. a bunch of other things, you know? Like, uh, but it, I don't know. Also, there is always that, like, caveat that, like, Revan was initially not start, not, not trying to be evil, you know? It just kind of happened. Well, no, it didn't actually. I got, like, possessed by something or influenced by a dark artifact. Oh, uh, yeah. What do you know about the Sith? Bad, bad men. Women, too. To <laughs> you must know more than that. Oh, indeed. They make a fine sandwich also. What? <laughs> but don't tell the Jedi Council I said that. Oh. What? You're being elusive on purpose. <sighs> and just what gave you the impression that I know anything more about the Sith than you do? You did. You said you fought them. Oh, that's right. Damn the years of <laughs> I was expecting you to be your usual inattentive self when I mentioned that. So it's true, yes. I fought plenty of Sith. That was during the time of Exar Kun. Oh, 40 years ago now. Has it been that long? Uh, yeah, what are you saying? You first meet someone. Especially if it's something interesting, like, I once battled Sith a long time ago. <laughs> hmm, who's this? I, 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 I've heard this name, but I can't recall anything specifically. Exile uh, was a <gasps> was That was, that's what I did, Both maybe. Maybe I was corrupted. Or so they say. He attempted to conquer the Republic and create a new golden age of the Sith. Sort of like Revan. I mean, me. I assume he was killed. This seems to happen on a more frequent basis than I expected. If this was only like 40 years ago. Better to say he was defeated, but essentially, yes. The victory did not come easily, however. What happened in the war with Exar Kun, then? That is not a pleasant time to remember. After Exar Kun fell to the dark side, he attempted to recruit other Jedi to his cause. What surprised us? What took us completely unprepared was how utterly successful he was. Many Jedi joined Maybe him. Maybe it's cause the Jedi are flawed. They did, I I will never truly know, but they did. Battle broke out throughout the order, pupil against a master. We fought ourselves. I know, right? <laughs> No, yeah, the greatest threat against the Jedi are Jedi. Yeah, well, it's like the Sith. The greatest threat to the Sith. Like, the Jedi have never actually defeated the Sith. The Sith have, like, always defeated themselves. Essentially. Like, they've, they've always, like, broken apart due to infighting. You know? Not always, but I think most of the time. That's how it, that's how it works. Like, they just... And the Jedi, yeah... The Sith never truly defeat the Jedi, and the Jedi never truly defeat the Sith. They just kind of tear each other apart from the inside out. Uh, that must have been difficult. Yes, more than difficult. Next to impossible. How do you fight against someone you love? <laughs> I dislike such memories. It leaves a taste in the mouth. His wife! No, I bet you it was his Sounds wife! I thought I'd put aside long ago. Ask me about the war some other time, just not now. I would prefer to be by myself for now. Okay. I'm sorry. His wife probably, like, fell to the dark side. Oh. And he told you to ask it later. Johnny's taking the news of your past rather well. She believes that the good in you she knew as Revan could never be fully... Oh, that's right, because she met me when I was Revan as a nice Revan. And so it was something... Yeah, okay. She's like, I thought Revan was a good person, and then she's, and then I went bad, and then now I'm back to being a good person again, and she's like, ah, oh, I knew it. <laughs> you should not abuse her trust in you. Okay, game. Oh, pressure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like, not sure it's actually possible to defeat the Sith. Yeah. 
Yeah, you have to know everyone's exact location, make sure no one fell on the dark side of the moon. And you're, like, you're, they're never going to get rid of, like, all the Sith artifacts and stuff because someone's going to keep something, always, you know? Like, that's just sentient being nature, you know? Um, I think I talked to everybody. Joy Candace, HKA, blah, 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 blah. yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. Bastila. Oh, wait. Let's see. I, I was going to show ya. Oh, dang. Okay. It's not going to show me the previous stuff, but I was going to show you that, that I was pretty sure she was, like, cool with, you know. Do we have a... Um... Oh, HK. Yeah. It was me. I did it. Bastila's mother. Bastila and her mother parted on good terms. Her mother and sister Bash keep the holocron. And while she's indeed dying from an illness, Bastila promised to try and visit her. Well, Bastila said, it's sad that her father is dead. She's happy that her relationship with her mother looks hopeful. Yep. So, yeah. I talked to her on the ship right after that. Oh, Black Bang Geek, hi! Good afternoon! The dark side, as much as a force, is a light, so you can't destroy. Exactly. Well, and I think I don't know if it was a movie or a book I read, but yeah, it, it's it did say that like one of the Jedi said, I think that the that the Jedi's purpose isn't to destroy the Sith; it's to bring balance, and that like the reason there are conflicts and stuff is like the, the Sith will rise in power at the apex of like the Jedi being. Um, like, a golden age, essentially. Because, like, there's too much light, sort of, in theory, you know? And so then, in order to balance it, the dark side rises, you know? But when the dark side rises, that's when a powerful, like, light side arises as well, you know? So it's just constantly trying to maintain an equilibrium. And I think if we just, like, split the galaxy down the middle, <laughs> and everybody, you, we got this half and you got this half, maybe then the Force would be satisfied. <laughs> no. But no, that's not how it works. But, yeah, it's interesting. Well, except sometimes it's true, that too, that the, the, the Jedi do try to, like, eradicate the dark side. But, like, I think maybe it was in one of the Bane books where you're, t where you're in, like, the perspective of a Jedi where it's like, you know, our true, we truly can never defeat them. You know, we can only just curtail them, you know. So, it's interesting. It's interesting that, that that's the way... Like, it makes total sense. Like, I, I like it a lot. That's the system. But, um... Because anything else would seem a bit, like, I don't know. Out of whack, you know? The way that the Force is always talking about balance and stuff. It just makes sense. Okay. I guess I couldn't bring Bastion on Corbon anyway. Interesting. All right. Oh, yeah, we are already here. I forgot. I forgot. I was like, here we go to Corbon. Because last I remembered, we were on freaking Tatooine. But we actually freaking... Oh, wait. Let me just go see if I can do Dantooine. Um, we were on our way to Corbon when we got captured. And that was a whole, like, three-hour tangent. Tatooine, Manon. <gasps> I think... Oh no, that's Dantooine! No, Dantooine! No! They had manta rays there. Play devil's advocate, eliminate both sides. No need to balance a quantity that doesn't exist. But, like, the force will always exist. Like, the force isn't just. I mean, like, I know, I know you're playing devil's advocate, but, like, the force is. is, um. Oh, wait, do it. I don't need. I do need I need to bring Johanny along and potentially Candorous. Um, but yeah, the force is not just in Jedi and Sith. It's like inherent in every like in life and death, you know? So you can never fully erase it. Uh it's the garbage man! There she is. 
you. He's such a creep. He's such an actual creep. Like, oh, I'm gonna lightning the crap out of you. And again. And I'm gonna throw a bomb at you. If you're just gonna stand oh, back there. For the order. No, oh my gosh. Do not. What the frick? I was pointing at him and then she changed freaking. Oh my gosh, it made me angry. Take that, you friggin' idiot. No, I'm you're gonna die. I'm not letting I'm not letting you live. You seem to have defeated me, get there, worm. This is not the time to be a dick bag. What do you mean? Doesn't have long Jahani. He may not, but I will make him pay with what little time he has left. I will make him tell me what he has done to my people. <coughs> you may have killed me today, but I had the pleasure of killing off your species. Not everyone who fought alongside the Mandalorians did it for their stupid concept of honor. <coughs> Some of us just did it for the pleasure. The pleasure what? of seeing I mean, your that's kind of old news. Burn. You, you animal. You wretch. Vengeance <laughs> 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 now, girl. You can never have your revenge. Uh, don't give in to the dark side, Johanny, I guess. I will not give him the satisfaction of seeing me give in to the dark side. Worm, I killed you. There in the sky, <coughs> on the ground. You couldn't have done that by yourself, though, because the Cathar were re really, really good warriors. They were, <laughs> just to see them burn. But the treacherous beasts fought back and left me with injuries. Treacherous beasts? Oh my gosh. <laughs> or so they thought. This isn't gonna work. No, I will not give it to him. I ended up in the We could just walk cars. away. And what did I find? <laughs> A few of those stinking beasts living there. The mayor was easy enough to best. But the females proved elusive. I didn't know what of them after I killed the male. <coughs> Until I saw this cursed woman on the auction block. But then the Jedi came and ruined everything. You're just a I pathetic monster. <laughs> you, you killed my father. You, you killed, killed my father. Prepare to die. Animals. You deserve to he die. He really does. <sighs> Don't give in. Or I, I kind of want to say like, stop feeling sorry for yourself to the guy, but I don't know if that's the way it'll be. Don't give in, Johnny. We're gonna give him. You are nothing. The, uh, I, I. Uh, this is gonna be like the final revenge of Johanni is to not fall, to not be the animal that he like labels her as. You know what I mean? Like she's better than him, and he's gonna die in his own filth, knowing that he's nothing but a monster. While she's a Jedi of the light side and is gonna like do so much good in the world, you know? So. Hi, Subby, by the way! It is the game with the perfect uh, six feet apart sta uh, uh, standing and talking. Uh, I wanna kill the man. He, but the thing, what's good is that the man is dying. If he wasn't dying, I would probably kill him myself. But here we go. Don't do it, Johnny. <sighs> Help me, please. Do not let me give into my anger again. Just step away. Uh, there. Oh, we'll do. The, we'll do the thing. There's no emotion. There is peace. Yeah. No, I will not do this. He may die, but it will not be out of my vengeance. You coward! <laughs> you weak! <laughs> 
Vengeance! Good. Fall over. You're dead. Garbage, 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 garbage. Garbage man. It's freaking so frustrating. Taking your stuff. That man was a beast. A monster. I am glad the galaxy is now rid of him so he may not harm others again. I do regret, though, that he did not die by my hand. I mean, he kind of did, you know. The thing that's good is the man is dying. <laughs> that's me. That's you can take that. You can take that quote to the bank. <laughs> Hi, Larry. It's been a while. On console, he's human. Only tweet like on PC. Okay, that makes sense. Like freaky, cause he says like he says at one point something about like the non-humans, you know, the inferior non-humans, and I was like. Wait, what? Like, you're not human either. <laughs> like, what? <sighs> I consider him human since he's racist? Yeah. <laughs> since he's racist and crap. Yeah. Against the aliens? Yeah. Like, it doesn't really make sense for him to be a toilet. <laughs> Honestly. <sighs> you did what was best. I know. But must I always feel the lure of the Yes! It was for the best. I am Yet to always be wary. During this. We should continue our journeys now. No reason for staying here for this. You're right. But can I... How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? You're still calling me, Padawan? Of course. If there is anything else, I am here to help. Seem to be sleeping a lot? Hey, man, it's the quarantine life, you know? I hope you do well. And at least if you're sleeping, you're not outside getting infected. Oh, wait. Active quest. Uh, right. And then Johanny. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These didn't seem to update. Okay. I'm going to go back on the ship, actually, and uh, make sure. The forest binary is a lie, I know. It's, uh, that's why I like the idea of the Grey Jedi. It makes much more sense. They're, the Grey Jedi setup makes more sense to me. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Uh, can we talk? What is it you would- Never mind. Of course. Alright, we seem to be okay. 